Hey, so it's uh, it's 2020, and uh, I have not made a video in about half a year or so. And uh, the reason for that is that I have been uh, taking part in an education um, which required a lot of uh, more than an hour of travel each way every day. So I haven't really had time to record and sit down and plan or edit uh, videos, not that I had anything backed up. Um, another thing is that I have, due to this um, education, been under a lot of stress, unfortunately. And, um, well, it culminated here uh, around New Year's when I decided, uh, along with the uh, educators on the uh, line of education that it would probably be better for me and both for my level of stress to get down and um, for the education as a whole that I were to quit. So I did. Uh, it's not officially gone through yet. I still need to have a couple of meetings and then they need to officially make sh uh, make it so that I'm no longer part of that education. It's a bit technical, no? but essentially none of it is lying on me, and that's important. So, what's going to happen in the coming time? Well, hopefully, and this is very much a, I don't know if, what, if this is going to happen or anything, uh, hopefully I can relax a bit. I'm going to be looking for a part-time job of sorts. Um, the the finances and search for living is already something that has been dealt with and has been sorted out, so that's not a problem. Right. On to videos. I plan to, uh, as you can tell from my last vlog, which is the technical difficulties vlog of September, I want to say. Maybe it was November. Eh, either way. Um, so I have been doing some refurbishing of my apartment. It's not completely done yet, which is also why I'm a bit hesitant to go into and say, I'm going to make videos every day, because that's not going to happen. But essentially, um, what I'm... Uh, in the need of now is a new uh, table for my computer. You'll also notice that settings are a bit different. That's because I'm recording this from my new laptop. It's a pretty powerful one, uh, an Asus, which might help me in terms of uh, recording and editing videos. Well, not so much recording, but definitely the editing part, yeah, as it gives me another screen to work with over time. Uh, I also have um, an old screen coming in from my parents that they had left over from somewhere. Uh, so I will be hooking that up as well, giving me a second monitor to work with. That would really be an improvement rather than just having one. It means that I can basically have a recording monitor and a work monitor where I do anything else like editing. But um, the gist of it is that I still need a couple more furnishing things. I have a I have bought and assembled some shelves out uh, in my, what would you call that, a porch? No, it's not a porch. Ah, never mind. I have a couple of shelves assembled and then I have, um, it's basically like a small set of drawers and wheels and that's going to be like a utility closet near my computer setup. Um, currently, my computer, the tower, is set up to use my TV as a monitor. Right now, it's on my PlayStation, uh, but I don't, I haven't have, I haven't set my screen for the place for the PC up yet. It's working, I, I think. I mean, it, it worked when I turned it off, and turn, it, because I wanted to make room for moving furniture around, cleaning up my apartment, that sort of thing. Um, but basically I won't be setting that up until I have my new table. Now my, my my mother is working on that because she said, well, I have a table that I can just cut 
to fit the uh, measurements that you need and well I can't really do much before I have that set up. I'm using my old table which is a, kind of a wobbly like you can tell a bit um, it's a glass table which is I mean it looks nice but uh, three out of four of the legs are loose and when I'm playing excited games like or games that have me riled up like Rocket League I tend to be moving my legs about and um, well that has actually knocked two of the legs free I'm not entirely sure how the third one got loose but essentially this is an unstable table so that table is going out there as well and then I'm getting a new table and um, <clears throat> that should be improved for this setup so how things are looking right now I'm not going to be in this position once the table gets set up because I want the table to be essentially over on the wall um, what will that be? Let's mirror it so that's if I turn around it would be to the right of the TV uh, now my setup before before all this uh, cleaning and setting up the new apartment well same apartment but with moving furniture around, cleaning up and such, it feels like a new apartment, and that was the really the point. Um, I want it so because obviously I can't record um, PlayStation console games like from this, and I don't have games installed on this laptop. It's not for, it's not bought for that purpose. Uh, I have my computer for that, and it's great, so no problem there. But obviously I cannot record from the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 with this setup. Like, well, I would have to be sitting like this all the time and yeah, that, no, not gonna happen. So, basically the idea is that I will have the recording setup right next to the TV and then the TV turns slightly more, uh, slightly more towards the computer. So that I will essentially have like uh, a rounded wall of monitors when I get the the second monitor it's definitely going to be more like that um, it's a bit tight with space but um, well that's the thing I can't really do much until I get my table so yeah uh, I'm going to keep on recording I have a lot of uh, I have a couple of unfinished actually all of my series more or less are unfinished so I think I'm going to start light and um, start up with a couple of testing recordings just to see if I still got it, if it's still something that I want to do, but right now I feel like it's something that I want to do. So that's basically what I'm pursuing. And um, so I think I will be continuing some of my visual novel series because why not? I mean, it's easier to set up than any of the uh, series that uh, I have going on the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3, but I definitely plan to keep those going once the setup is complete. So, that was all the uh, video stuff. Now comes to the stuff that you might not find so interesting, but it's definitely part of me making videos. Um, so, as I mentioned, um, I have been under a lot of stress and um, been pretty far down in terms of mood. However, I, I feel pretty good right now. I'm in a position where I don't really know what's coming in terms of what am I supposed to do with myself. Like, I don't have a job, I don't have an education to attend to. So that's there's the uncertainty in that. However, there's also the relief that I'm no longer under the stress of trying to get through with that education. Even though I felt like, on a technical level, I was actually doing okay, but I'm not good with exams and such, and it just broke me. So basically, we're looking to have, I think it's this Thursday, the uh, 30th, we're basically looking to have a meeting to see if they have any suggestions of how I can do what is what would be better suited for me. Now, I am going to rule out the fact that 
they probably want me to join a different education and I'm gonna say no to that because I barely got through my last education and this one well it broke me as well and I don't need that happening I don't want that happening again so unless I can find some really specialized and uh, very unique kind of education I'm done with that I mean I love sitting on a school bench and getting to know all the other people on the team but the stress of dealing with the exams and such yeah no no not doing it so part-time job I haven't really decided on anything I mean I like working with kids but there might not be a job to get in that position so I'm basically keeping my my uh, opportunities open and if I find something that's easy to do it doesn't have to be easy but it just it, it does have to be something that that's my phone there you go should probably have turned that on silent oh well um where was I yes thank you I noticed that someone called um, yeah so so essentially I'm keeping my my hands open for whatever part-time job I can actually get there are a couple of things that are important to me when it comes to getting that job um, it needs to be a job that I can easily get to now I don't have a car and I don't have a license so if there is a long distance of travel I need to have public transportation available to me. I don't mind driving. I don't mind traveling with public transportation. Actually, I love that. Uh, sitting on a bus, just looking out the window. Sitting on a train, just looking out the window, looking at the people. I love that. So I don't mind public transportation. Sure, it's not the most precise, fastest, or direct way of traveling. It's fairly expensive here, but I don't mind it. And that's the important stuff like if the part-time job is in a place where I can get to by public transportation that's good then that's definitely a check mark for me uh, I can also have my bike if there's a short ride like maybe an hour or so like 10 kilometers um, so yeah that's basically the only obviously I won't be doing anything dangerous or anything like that like working with chemicals no I can't imagine that happening uh, but why would they want uh, an uneducated part-timer for that right um, so yeah basically um, I'll probably make another vlog as soon as I have spoken to the county and spoken to the um, uh, to the job department and and basically gotten a hold of and and told them like the job departments here are very much like a well you need you need to get into an internship or you need to and I think I'm with my experience so far being in and out of educations and um, I think my experience with them is to a point where I know how to deal with them and I think that's important because if you don't know how to deal with them, they're just going to flatten you. So I'm going to verily point out that no, I could take an education, but I definitely don't want to because I have a bad, well, multiple bad experiences. You're not going to make me. So I want a part time job, what it is. What I'm good at, that's something we can talk about, but it's not going to be another education unless you can guarantee that it will be suited for me and it will be one where I can be guided through in terms of exams and such. So, um, until the next video and until the next vlog, it's still a word that I am not used to saying, um, take care and hopefully I can 
make some videos. Like that is literally why I'm making this vlog to get back into the flow of making and editing videos and uploading them and who boy dealing with YouTube. Ah, <laughs> I mean, I, I say that I haven't really had any gripes with YouTube, probably because I'm not earning money on YouTube. It's purely a hobby. I'd like to make hot money off of it, but we're nowhere near that yet. Uh, the only problems I've had with YouTube, well, not with YouTube, that was um, with a label of a musician of a game that I played, uh, Child of Light, which I had to end early because I could not be true to the game. And that game is a very artsy kind of game. So obviously you want any part of it to be a part of your videos as a full experience. It's a Ubisoft game, not gonna lie, and I love it, I love the game, It's, which was vehemently clear, I hope. Uh, I think they made six videos or so before I had to stop. Essentially, the label behind um, the artist of uh, the music in um, Child of Light basically said, yeah, you either can't have the have these videos, um, or you're gonna have these videos on mute. And though I try to argue um, that the music is not for the sake of the music, it's for the sake of a game, I have asked Ubisoft, and I got the go ahead to it, which is also why I'm kind of. I, I wouldn't say pissed off, that's probably not the correct term. Agitated is probably more correct. Um, I Even before I started the, the, the Let's Play, I asked Ubisoft, uh, Montreal, because that was the studio that made that, uh, well, they took it over and finished it. I think it was an indie project, but nah, either way. Um, so I figured... I mean, obviously, when you play a game like GTA and you listen to the radios and the cars, that music music is not licensed. You don't have the rights to that. So people playing GTA and making videos of that obviously turn the radio off. Fair enough. But I expect it in a game where there only is listed one artist, Kurt de Private, um, Canadian, uh, French Canadian artist, I think. Don't hold me up on that. Um, amazing, amazing score, amazing soundtrack. Really, really, really big part of why Child of Light was great, even though it was not completely finished and there was a fairly large part cut out. I love the feeling of Child of Light. Why? Why did Ubisoft? not make that music licensed. I don't get it, but basically they said, uh, you want, you, if you, yeah, you can make, keep making videos of this game if you mute the video, if you mute the music. <coughs> and I couldn't do that. One thing is, okay, there's a snippet of music that's needs to be muted or cut out easy I'm okay with that if it doesn't mean that the feeling of the game gets lost and unfortunately with Child of Light the music the score is very much a part of the feeling so and it's obviously it's constant because it's not a it's not a heavy action game. It's a platforming RPG turn-based combat. Um, so obviously the music is going to be a fairly large part because dialogue there is some, and it's wonderful, but it doesn't take up a lot of sound from the game, nor does the combat. It's actually really nice, like, sometimes you get a game where um, the the audio levels doesn't seem to be fitted with the feel of the game, like, some sounds would be very, very loud, or 
very high pitched or not completely balanced out. In Child of Light, music is the main thing, not that it's a part of the gameplay, but it's a very big part of the feeling of the game. And unfortunately, so obviously, um, basically the first time it happened I was like, okay, I can cut out and see how it feels. And I have to say that afterwards that was a sour feeling watching that back editing editing that episode because it you just lost so much feeling of the game if you're just having it saying absolutely nothing then a bit of dialogue then a bit of combat sound and then back to silence and me commenting i mean i can comment all right that's part of making videos but i don't want to do that i mean i want to enjoy the game as well but Awkward silence is not a good thing in a video, and I want to avoid that. And there is the whole, it loses the feeling of how does this video game affect you? And the in-game score is a very important part of that. So yeah, that's pretty much the only gripe I've had with YouTube. Then there's also the uh, classic thing where every video you upload, you need to have brightness set up because YouTube's or YouTube's rendering functionality means that it gets darker. For some reason. I don't know why, but basically I've been looking through my old Oblivion playthrough, which I still plan to continue, by the way, uh, and I remember setting the brightness up high, and that was because I couldn't see much in the game. And then I looked at it on YouTube, and I remember what I was doing. I could not see what I was doing. So, yeah. But, I think... Oh, I've been recording a good 20 minutes now. Um, I think I want to get back... To, I definitely want to get back to making videos. That's the part number one. Uh, part number two is that I don't know in how big a scale, like... I like making videos, I like editing videos, so getting back to the point where I can make four to three to four videos a week is good. And I definitely want that happening. But I also can't tell when it's going to happen because there's a lot of exterior things that need to be in place before that happens. like. How much time am I going to spend traveling back and forth to this job? Am I going to get a job? That's all. That's a lot of things that I can't really... I can influence them slightly, but not very much. These are exterior things. So yeah, I will make another uh, vlog down the line at some point when I know more, when more things have become clear. But um, until then... I'll definitely make some recordings of visual novels, maybe some other gameplays if I can find the games that I find funny or interesting. Um, but until then, take care.